how often do we equate success with talent? All the time. But the reality is, success is not created by talent alone. Just like we might see immense talent squandered, we also see underdogs unexpectedly overachieve. Here are 10 behaviors that we can always control that require zero talent yet have a huge impact on our success. Number 10. Being on time. Punctuality is a keystone habit that requires organization and planning ahead, both of which lead to greater success. Here's a good primer on why being on time is important and how anyone can make it a habit. Number 9. Work ethic. This is the discipline of showing up consistently and making the best decisions that lead to peak performance. Even at the pinnacle of his career, the late basketball superstar Kobe Bryant's work ethic was legendary. Kevin Durant recalls the message a veteran Kobe sent the younger players at Olympic trials back in 2008, just after Durant's first year in the league. The players were given a day off, but there was Kobe, the only veteran getting on the bus to go work out at a high school gym. He made 50 shots at each spot around the three-point line, Durant recalls. We just looked down there and said, man, He's the best player in the league and he took a bus to a high school to get some work in. It's that work ethic that Kobe embraced throughout his career to become one of the all-time greats. As Kobe said after getting drafted straight out of high school in 1996, I don't want fans to think I'm just a high school kid coming in here thinking the world owes me something. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to work. Number 8. Effort Few athletes worked as hard as major league pitcher John Smoltz, who is now in the Baseball Hall of Fame. As his agent, I saw him extend his career by years through sheer effort and commitment. He made up his mind to make changes along the way, like going from starter to closer, that kept him in the game as a valuable contributor to his team. Effort is a mindset as much as it is a behavior. Number 7. Body Language What is body language? While the key to success in both personal and professional relationships lies in your ability to communicate well, it's not the words that you use but your nonverbal cues or body language that speak the loudest. Body language is the use of physical behavior, expressions, and mannerisms to communicate non-verbally, often done instinctively rather than consciously. Whether you're aware of it or not, when you interact with others, you're continuously giving and receiving wordless signals. All of your non-verbal behaviors, the gestures you make, your posture, your tone of voice, how much eye contact you make, send strong messages. They can put people at ease, build trust, and draw others towards you, or they can offend, confuse, and undermine what you're trying to convey. These messages don't stop when you stop speaking either. Even when you're silent, you're still communicating non-verbally. Number 6. Energy Everyone has energy to devote to a goal, and the decision of how much to give. Be conscious about where yours goes, where focus goes, energy flows. Remember, what we feel is a result of what we're choosing to focus on. Number 5. Positive Attitude What does positive attitude mean? You have probably been told more than once, you should have a positive attitude. Have you wondered what is the meaning of these words and why positive attitude matters? This usually happens when you feel down, expect failure, and doubt your abilities. You may also hear these words when you are about to give up, and when you show lack of faith in yourself. Being positive, you see the bright side of life, you become confident and expect improvement and success. Number 4. Passion Remember back when you were a kid, you would just do things. You never thought to yourself, that are the relative merits of learning baseball versus football. You just ran around the playground and played baseball and football. You built sand castles and played tag and asked silly questions and looked for bugs and dug up grass and pretended you were a sewer monster. Nobody told you to do it, you just did it. You were led merely by your curiosity and excitement. And the beautiful thing was, if you hated baseball, you just stopped playing it. There was no guilt involved. There was no arguing or debate. You either liked it or you didn't. So, working can get dreadful at times, but make it a habit to find some time for yourself and work on things you enjoy. It will help you lead a long, happy life. Number 3. Being coachable. What is coachability? Coachable refers to an attitude, not skills. A coachable athlete is one who openly and humbly listens to honest feedback and willingly applies that feedback to improve their development. These athletes understand that they are not perfect, there is always room to improve, and show appreciation for their coach's time and feedback by actively listening and learning from them. Michael Jordan once said, My best skill was that I was coachable. I was a sponge and aggressive to learn. Athletes who fail to be coachable often plateau at a certain point due to negative approach to criticism and their unwillingness to listen and learn. Anyone can become a better listener, learn from feedback, and embrace the success of others. Number 2. Doing Extra There is an old saying, People will forget what you say but they will always remember how you made them feel. If you want to be known as someone who makes people feel good, be willing to go the extra mile. To go the extra mile means to do more than is required to accomplish a task or reach a goal. To have this mindset of going the extra mile will be required look for ways to make other people's lives better. 
For example, if you're a business owner, you'll find out more details about your employees or customers, things like birthdays, anniversaries, milestones achieved or goals they want to achieve. Rather than focusing on what you can get, you'll automatically be focused on what you can give. At number one, being prepared. Being prepared means being ready for whatever comes your way and being alert so that you never get caught up in a bad situation where you will not know what to do or how to react. Being prepared also means having the things you need with you at the time you need it. Or being prepared could also mean just knowing what you are doing at the time you are needed to do it. Being prepared has many rewards that come with it. When you are prepared for what you need to be prepared for, you can participate in the activity instead of staying on the sidelines while you watch everyone else participate. You can also avoid getting punished by being prepared, like not getting a 300-word essay on being prepared. Being prepared also doesn't only apply have to take place in a classroom, it could apply to real life, anytime, anywhere. For example, if you get caught in a tornado and you are not prepared, you could be in serious and fatal danger. Also, if you are always prepared, you could also save someone else's life as well as your own. In conclusion, I think that being prepared is a very important quality in every person's life, but I would not want to be a kind of person who thinks of everything in advance and worries about everything long before it is expected. Although as I said before, I think that being to be prepared is not fun because if you are always prepared for everything that comes your way, which is impossible, there would be no fun because there would be no risks taken. In conclusion, that talent is never enough. The best of the best don't rest on what they were born with, they dig down to get the most they can. Try these 10 things or just one and over time it will pay off. That's all for this video. If this was of your any help, please consider sharing it with your friends and family. If enjoyed, please consider subscribing this channel. Thanks for your time. See you in next video.